I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. Y'all know when I start with that, I done did something that messed myself up. I'll tell you about it. I'm walking. Get your chair. Get your weights. Line up on your wall. <laughs> walk, you walk the wall to wall. Thank you for the if you're jumping on your bike, get your bike. If you're on a treadmill, so jump on the treadmill walking. and start it. I got this glow. Hold on a minute, y'all. Yes, I don't know if I like the glow. Ha ha! It's not that that's a glow. Thank you for the company. I'm walking. Oh, so happy to be walking. Half, half, happy to be walking. Thank you for the company. I still got the glow. Ooh, yeah. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. Hey, Joni. Joni, where you at? <laughs> you should do like the kids do. <laughs> and Joni said, Vicky, Vicky, where you at? Mary, Mary. Where you at? Diane, where you at? <laughs> Isa, where you at? Sean, <laughs> where you at? <laughs> Marilyn has a birthday coming up. And I can't remember where, when it is. I hope I haven't missed it. So, I went on her page and looked, but I didn't see anything. There you go. Oh. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. Oh, man. When you mess up to yourself, you gotta ask forgiveness. Now I'll tell y'all what I did. I feel better and better, and I feel my energy coming back the more that I say it. I'm like forgiving myself, and it's so cool. Anyway, let me tell you what I did. I get up at four. So, I try to take a nap before 4 p.m. I don't want to do a straight 12 hours. Though I know that there's a lot of people older than me that work full time <clears throat> and not only do 12 hours but during their 20 every weekday Whew. but for me when I could see, I'm retired. Ain't no shame in my game. I know this ain't. Oh, I'm still, I'm still valid. I'm still, I'm still uh, dead. I'm still. Uh. Yeah, you are to yourself, but you don't want to focus on that. Um, you better focus on the outside people looking at you. All right, I ain't going there. That ain't the point. Because I messed up, so I can't get righteous. Righteous. I love you. Joni. I don't see no Joni. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. Okay. So, 
when I first realized that I don't need to stay up to the whole 12 hours that I need to lay down, put my feet up, and if I'm lucky, fall asleep. Because I'm retired. Ain't no shame in my name. <coughs> but sometimes I get lost in doing things. And I don't get a chance to put my feet up or stop. Because I'm telling you, I get energized from this until like 4 o'clock. Now, like I said, I know I've worked on jobs with people older than me who came to work every day. We have five minutes. Okay, I'm not going to panic though because I know walk is fast. Oh. Maybe I should stop saying five minutes because then the walk is over and then my thoughts get all scrambled up because I'm trying to tell everything because we don't have a lot of time. That's how fast this walk is. Okay, I don't want to use my energy for that. Okay. Now, I used to work with them and I'd be saying, oh Lord, hey, I gotta see on my break if that's my journey. Um, so, I forgot my friend of course. <laughs> oh, I would watch them on the job. And I say to myself, wow. Wow. Can't they retire? And if I was so bold to ask them why they're still working and not retired, they would tell me that they wanted to get more money out of their pension, etc., etc., etc. And as a young person working with them, I'd be saying, oh, Lord, can't y'all put that cow to the grass, on the grass to graze? <laughs> oh, my goodness. They would come in thundering at you. That's why they be wiped out for the rest of the day. I'm talking about old people that I used to work with my age and older. Anyway, I often ask, I don't want to be like that. I don't want to be like that. I'm a creative person. I just, with all this racism and stuff, there's no way I can use my creativity. Um, then, to uh, sustain myself. It's not meant for people like me to do that. It's meant for people who are already doing it and have become wealthy to help their family and friends do what is what was in me to do. But uh, you can't pay rent and do that at the same time. And sometimes you do risk it for your dreams, because I have. My daughter was so close to being on the street many times because I had to give it everything to that play, everything to mailing out scripts and printing scripts and getting the agent and, and get it off. Oh, that was never going to happen. Not because of me, because of systematic racism. It just wasn't going to happen. <clears throat> but it's not like that now. We have other ways. We ain't got to go to no studio. We ain't got to sit in no white secretary tell us. <clears throat> tell us, oh, since black renaissance, there ain't really been no good black writers. Oh, since, since the gay boys at the Y, really? That's what we going with? Anyway, Whew. so, anyway, <laughs> so I stayed up 12 hours straight. I think it was 12.30 when I put my feet up. Then when I got up, I got on the phone with chess coach master. She's, he's a chess coach. 
I just coach Victor. And he's going to do the podcast with me. So, I spoke with him, and that's giving out energy and stuff. So, the little bit of energy I got from my nap went straight back out in the telephone call. So, by the time I laid down, I didn't have too much of anything. So, by the time this morning met me, no, I didn't have an energy, and this is what you see before you now. But it did help me do one thing. It helped me slow down enough to really um, direct me in how I'm going to do this podcast. Um, very good podcast. The name is awesome. I'll be putting out some flyers. Um, and it's I, when I talk, when I walk with you guys, I talk about it. That's how I got Neighbors Up, the show that teaches the basics of chess through music, movement, and song. I did that by walking every morning with Miriam. Every morning with Miriam, I would um, talk about making a DVD with kids dancing and singing to the chess song, how we're going to get kids to sing and perform the chess song, and, and it was from walking. She and I walked maybe half out 45 minutes. We were closer to 45 minutes. And uh, that's when we worked out the process and I wrote the script and everything. It wasn't so script because it's reality, just d directions, how things supposed to go. Um, so that's what I have to do again. And because I slowed down enough, I can work out the kinks while I'm walking with you guys. Go upstairs and write them down. Works for me. But because I stayed for 12 hours, I don't have the energy of the judge to do my live chat at 10. So I'm going to move it to the afternoon. My apologies. See? Oh! Okay, that was my cough drop. <laughs> I wonder if that should be a TikTok moment. Is it so little? Can you see it? So I can't do it. I'm not like those people that I used to see on the job. And I've seen them. Even my father, or my sperm donor, he, AKA sperm donor, um, I think he worked until his 70s. Lord have mercy, how happy I would be not to be in that office, I can't even begin to tell you. Them old people used to fight with the young people in the office all the time. Be miserable. Couldn't stand. I, if you want to know who made my mornings miserable at work, it was people my age. I walk in, what well, happy, happy, and they be like, happy. Look, I'm coming here with this foolishness. I be like, oh, oh, is this all I have to pay the rent? <laughs> and I don't even have no change afterwards. <laughs> So, um, yeah, I, I take my nap. I'm retired. I'm retired. I did my thing. <laughs> my daughter came up this. She looked at She said, Mommy, whoo, systematic racism is draining. 
Oh, but uh, and I used to get it on the job, and then I would try to have a career as a writer, a playwright, screenwriter. <sighs> Whew, I would set myself up for the two part, one, two, one, two, one, two, and I would do it. <laughs> but it's tiring, child. So I'm not doing that. But that's what it is. So I have to reschedule my chat. Push it through, Joe. But we don't have this Thursday. You you going off the momentum. Because I'm definitely running off the momentum. I'm <laughs> for sure. Run off Monday's momentum, Tuesday's momentum. You know, when the train works up a certain amount of speed, then you don't have to, I don't know, put the coal in, hit the gas, <laughs> whatever it is that much. Hey, hey. Carmen, hey, hey. Patty, Patty in the house. Great risings, Patty. Oh, great risings. I'm fine this morning, Joan, and I know you are too. I tell you, hey, Patty, yeah. Oh. So, we ain't doing no weights. We just struggling through the rest of this because I have to schedule my live chat this afternoon. And, um, I got to find some energy along the way. <laughs> you know how I do? Over the years, this is how I get energy. Okay, I'm putting in a couple of seconds and I ain't even want to turn it on. Let me tell you. These are the tricks of energy. This is when I become an energy vampire. And uh, what we do in the shadows, great show, great show, love it. The energy vampire. It was when my daughter, I didn't focus on him so much. And I laughed at him at certain times I would say, I know those energy vampires, I've worked with them. You know the ones when you work in mind your business and they figure they come over and bore you? And be an asshole. A S K hole. Um. So I didn't pay him too much attention because I work with people like that. So he was the most ignoring me. The blood vampires I knew was fake, but that energy vampire, I know was a realness to it. So I focused on it because he was the scariest. Anyway, I realized from that and watching. And going back and looking at the episodes after my daughter said, Mom, Mommy, look at that energy vampire. Oh my gosh, she said, I work on the job, there's energy vampire. And she just made me aware of it. So I know at times I'm an energy vampire. Exercising is a way of giving me energy. Didn't I tell you when I got off here, I ran all the way to 4 o'clock, that's why I messed up there. Not messed up, just tired. Not enough energy to do a live chat. I don't think I should go and say, oh, 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 oh. I don't want to watch that. So, I'm going to re-energize. And I'm going to reschedule it this morning. And then I'm going to get energy. But I'm, I know how to get my energy. So, Deirdre Helena Wells is going to get so mad because I didn't say her last name. But I got the other three. And Cookie Monster. Nub Nubian Narcissist Abuse. Nubian Narcissist ICU out of Philly. I put them on because there are some episodes where they rage. I mean, they put out energy like you would not believe. 
I mean, in between, I'm laughing and I'm shaking my head and I'm commenting. But those ladies, they put out energy. Energy. So I love them. Yeah, they rant and rage. And y'all know I like Clyde Diva. Because to me, she's smooth and sensuous. So I can lay back and, and she tell people off, but not in, in the way that is all consuming energy. Every now and again, they'll send her to the edge, but not so much. So that's in the Clyde Diva 3 6 Clyde Diva consciousness. So, and Deirdre Helena Wells. She does um, class culture with a K. And then she does this arts and craft FYI. Not FYI. What is this? Do it yourself. Ha <laughs> D D Y I. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I'm tired. But you see, I'm laughing. How many apologies did it take for, for the energy to start? It's like, as, the more I apologize, the more my body said, okay, I'll go to the reserves and I'll get out enough energy to get you through this walk. And I'm going to go put my feet up. Yeah. Whew. So, that's how I suck my energy out. I'll find all, it, like, when I... <laughs> I'm going to relax when I go upstairs. So, you know, you know who else gives out good energy that I need to put on? Maddie in the morning show. Maddie in the morning. I do suck that energy up. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Because she be putting it out there. So I be sucking it in. So, I know how to re up. And of course, <laughs> Lay my ass down somewhere. That's what I'm fit to do because I'm retired. There ain't no shame in my game. How long you got to prove to people what you are? Please. Hmm. Every time I look around, I say, oh my God. I can't even tell you how happy, how half, half happy I am not to be in the rat race. Because I wasn't a rat, but I was in the rat race. And them rats, they mean and they vicious, honey. And they greedy. And they greedy. So, I know old people out there say, ooh, I'm 74 years old and I'm still in the rat race. I wish thee well, honey. I'm not. And I'm not in the rat race. So I have to apologize to myself again. I love you. I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. And that, I'm saying I'm correcting it. When I get off this walk, I got to put these dogs out. When they come back in, I am getting back into casual clothes, washing my face. Ugh. Because I ain't working up no sweat. <laughs> I'm reserving energy. I will put on my announcement on YouTube where my chat will be. And... I'm laying down. Yes. I'm laying down. Putting the old feet up. Kicking back. And then when I get up, well, I'm going to eat first. I'm going to eat. But energy, you got to balance your energy. And I had it. I had it perfectly balanced. And yesterday, kept saying, Okay, don't do 12 hours. I could, because I would get mad. If I did 12 hours, I wouldn't sleep. It would be hard for me. Even at night, I would still be running. 
So I was make myself take a nap by saying if I stay up past 12 hours, I would become manic. But then I started going to sleep to put my feet up before the 12 hours, within the 12, within the 12 hours. And everything was fine. And then yesterday happened. And then I said to myself, I says, you don't get manic if you stay up for 12 hours without putting your feet up and resting. What are you talking about? And I said, oh, I don't get manic. So I can stay up for 12 hours. So that's what we did. And the body was right. I didn't get manic. I got exhausted. So that's why I put my feet up within 12 hours and close my eyes a little bit. Try to take some pressure off my matter. Because I have to balance my energy. Let out, take in. Let out, take in. Now other people, old people, they just give out, give out, give out, give out, give out. Did the energy run out? Can't, they even got enough energy to heal themselves. I ain't doing that. I love you. I'm sorry. Whew, please forgive me. Thank you. Because I always forgive myself. <laughs> I always forgive me. <laughs> so, here we are. The only thing is no 10 o'clock chat. And I apologize for that. It may be 3 or 4 o'clock chat. Because I'm not brushing myself. I apologize. I've been forgiven. Always forgiven. But just like with people, you got to make sure that the apology is truly accepted. You know passive-aggressive people. Oh, yeah, I forgive you. Then when you're going down the stairs, they stick their foot out and you go down. They ain't forgive you, so you have to say, you sure we all right? You know I didn't mean to do it. You know I'm more aware now that it won't, so it won't happen again. And that's what I'm aware so I'm going to have my cotton picking butt with my feet up. Today, I just got to give it the whole lay down to re-energize. But going forward, <clears throat> nope. Abraham Lincoln says in this book, it, oh gosh, it was like the way that Abraham Lincoln managed. It, it was like if you use the practices of Abraham Lincoln and like the South, North and the South and all that stuff together. Uh, and what he did as in business. Uh, how successful you will be. And it's a lot of things I remember. But one thing Lincoln used to do. He always had a couch in his office. And he would lay down on the couch. Sometimes he would have the paper and sometimes the paper would be over his face. That's when he's taking his nap. But he knew to rest to get his energy. And that's something we, that y'all, don't know about. You just keep giving out energy. Here. Yeah. Energy, I know you don't like me, but here, take my energy. And the vampires, they suck it in. <laughs> now I think about my energy vampires. I work in the office with some women that would purposely, purposely set the supervisor to go ballistic. And they would just suck in the energy. And laugh and suck, suck all the energy in and laugh. I didn't know it was called uh, energy vampires then. I just said, 
that's some sick shit. <laughs> You want to get a person riled up so you can laugh at it. But it wasn't to laugh at it. It was to take all that energy and consume it. And you go back and, and, and listen, the morning had just started and that supervisor leaning on the chair like this. <laughs> and they are laughing and having a good time, honey. So, I've always been around any... Oh. Did y'all see what happened? I sprayed myself. I rubbed myself with drier towels. I have fabric softener spray. And I am still sparking. I've always been a sparker. Alright, I just shocked myself. That's why I'm saying that. <laughs> I remember I used to kiss my daughter. And she, on her lip and she would jump like that. I was like, oh, I'm sorry, baby. I don't. That's what your mother does. Or if I would touch my mate. And just, oh, I'm so sorry. Oh. I tell you. Thanks, y'all. Hey, going through. Yes, thank you so much. Whew. Thank you so much. Whew. I did it. I did it. Cousin, hey cousin Vicky. I mean, she in her fifties, and I'm in my sixties, and I'm big Vicky. <laughs> she little Vicky. <laughs> hey little Vicky. Thanks for coming on the walk. Carmen came in. Little Vicky, came. and of course Joni. Joni's coming out the um, uh, fiscal rehab thing tomorrow. She pushed through all this week. We all did. Okay, thanks YouTube. Please hit the subscribe bell. Thumbs up. I'll see you tomorrow.